Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking us to do is they're asking us to find a couple examples. They want us to find uh, x, and then they like to do be able to determine um, what is a measure of angle A, B, C, D, E, and F. All right. So in Dennis, when we're looking at this problem, we have variables in for all of our interior angles, right? Yep. So what we need to understand is, and we know the number of sides, where we could say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we could say n equals 6, right? The number of sides is 6. So therefore, it's a he he hexagon. Very good. So now that we know that it's a hexagon, we know the number of sides, what I do know is all of these angles add up to the sum of interior angles. Well, what we get was the sum of interior angles? Remember, we could find the sum of all of these angles just by taking n minus 180. So if I plug this in now to find the sum of all the interior angles, if I put in a 6 minus 2 times 180 degrees, s equals 4 times 180, s equals 720 degrees. So what that means is all the interior angles add up to 720 degrees. That means this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this equals 720 degrees. Now remember, our goal is to solve for x. So therefore, I need to write an equation. So I have x plus 2 plus x minus 8 um, plus x plus 7 plus x minus 3 plus x plus 6 plus x minus 4 equals 720 degrees. You guys see what I did? I took, remember, this represents 720 degrees. This is the sum of all of these angles. The sum of all of these angles. So now, what I'm going to do is now what I need to do is I need to add up all my like terms. So you can see I have all these x's I can add up. And since they're all positive, right, I have 1, 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, 6x. Now I need to add up all my numbers. So 2 plus negative 8 plus 7 minus 3 plus 6 minus 4. And if you guys go and plug those in your calculators or do it in your head, what you'll notice is that gives you actually 0. Okay. So and that equals 720 degrees. So therefore, 6x equals 720 degrees. So now I still need to solve for x, right? I still need to solve for x. So therefore, I divide by 6, and x equals 120 degrees. So good, we found x. But guys, is that the whole question, AJ? No, that's not the whole question. The question asks us now to find what a is, find measure of angle b. So if we have a, angle a is equal to x plus 2. Do we know what x is now? Do we know what x is? Yes. Yeah, it's 120. So therefore, that's 120 plus 2, which equals 122. Measure of angle A, or I'm sorry, B, is x minus 8. So it's 120 degrees minus 8, which is 112. You guys kind of see? Can I kind of now shorten up my work a little bit? So therefore, angle C would be 120 plus 7. So that's 127. Angle D is 120 minus 3, which is 117 degrees. Angle E, which is 120 plus 6, which would be 126. And angle F, which is 120 minus 4, which would equal 116 degrees. And these are all degrees. OK? Samantha. Do you, do you know like how to do that really well? 